So, uh, all right, so one of my biggest problems starting, and this is the, the birth of the concept of the Hinman alumni phone. And I think this, this, the concept of it was, I think it was on a plane ride when we were going out to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. it's just uh, Karen was sitting in front of me, we were chatting, and something, something just really irritated me big time. And it led to this idea. Um, and what happened was, so going back when I was first starting my company, I told you guys I, I was pretty strapped for cash. So yeah, I was making great money as a consultant, but you know, I hadn't quite learned the concept of financial management or saving money. And so whatever I made was going right back out. Um, buying nice gadgets, I had, you know, I had a great apartment, lots of nice things there. So um, I didn't have a lot of money, <laughs> bottom line. And when I started this, I needed money. So I remember coming to James, I was like, man, I, I, gotta, I gotta pay a programmer. No one's willing to do this for my budget of $250. And so, so um, I did eventually get someone to do it for $400. The entire affiliate classroom platform initially that we were making thousands a month off of was built off of four hundred dollars. <laughs> Don't ask me how I did it; I have no idea. Um, but uh, you know, we were talking to James, and I was really scrounging for for money. I mean, really, at that time, two thousand dollars for me would have just been huge. So that had been in this corner of my head. I did eventually scrounge money together one way or the other, and I got side up. But it took me months more just because I was trying to scrounge together a few hundred bucks. And um, given that we've got this organization, we've got a bunch of me people with entrepreneurial mindset who have ideas, who have concepts, and a lot of who might be, a lot of you might be being held back over a few hundred bucks or a couple thousand dollars. That's just, it sounds at this point silly a little bit, right? So when we kind of think back, it's like, you know, if we're gonna build this organization and we're gonna help each other build companies, education is great, but we need to offer some in something to help implement and actually act on it too. So uh, that was my initial thought really behind the idea was just, hey, you know, why don't we just set up a way for all of us to communicate the way these guys do? We have enough people in this program to be as powerful as Stanford, UPenn, I mean, all these big programs, so why don't we utilize it? Then I kept looking, thumbing through that thing and I realized we have a lot of successful alumni in this program who aren't giving back. And it's mostly because they don't have an avenue or they don't have a channel to really give back. But if you, like when we met in San Francisco, I mean, we were, we were just, we had a blast. We, we, it wasn't about work or something. We had a good time and we were talking and most of us didn't know the other one existed. And we were like, oh wow, you're doing this stuff, that's cool. I know this guy that can do this. I know this guy that can do this. This guy can help you here. And it was just like seven of us. And I imagine putting 300 people together like that and it's like a whole nother ball game. So I started to realize that, you know, if I was gonna, you know, I could sit there and say so much about it and talk about how people hadn't done anything, but if I was gonna really make a statement that I had to step up and do something myself. And so, I love entrepreneurship, by the way. It's like, it is in my blood. I, I love it. I, it's a hobby, I know. I sound like a dork, I know. It is a hobby. Like, that is, if I, Saturday night, if I had nothing better to do, I will read about entrepreneurship and enjoy every last minute of it. Um, so I really, you know, love hearing about. It. Like when I came in, the first thing I did was read almost every single one of these because I love to see what people are doing. I love seeing ideas, and I love seeing how what I know could help. <clears throat> you know, people like James, Karen, Scott Laughlin, all these guys have helped me so much. I've realized that that there's a tremendous value to giving back and then giving forward and all those good things. So the whole point of this alumni fund is to make it so that none of your ideas are held back because of a few hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks. You know, obviously we evaluate, we will evaluate the ideas and, you know, but if you have something you're really passionate about and you can put together an executive summary and you can make a case for it, you know, there should be no reason why you can't go out and start that company and you can't play with it and you can't have a chance to do what some of us have had the chance to do after leaving the alumni fund of the, the alumni group. So really what I, what I'm hoping for, the way I hope this program runs is we will run, I think right now we're thinking every semester, we'll run kind of a, a mini business plan competition between the students. Um, grant anywhere between 500 to $5,000. And you will not so much compete. I mean, we're not looking to say, okay, only one of the guys. It's, it's gonna be in the air. When we're gonna listen to you, we might fund everyone who talks. We might only fund two, one. It just depends on how far along uh, everything is. Your team, your idea, have you tested it? Have you tracked, you know, have, do you have market research? Can you defend it? We're gonna poke questions, poke holes in it. You know, how do you come back? It's just like a regular business plan competition. And what I would love to do is record these and actually have a community site for the alumni where we would put them up and let the alumni vote. And the alumni would vote to see who gets the money or who gets to get started. And once you get that, you will then be mentored by one of the MTech faculty and also by someone in the alumni. 
you will have access to, I mean, you already, all of you have access to the alumni once we put the group up, but they'll just have that much more help, all the resources we have that, that we can possibly make uh, available to you. This is a big part of the Hemant Alumni Fund. This money is given to you as a grant. This is at least what I envisioned initially. It's given to you as a grant. You are not signing a contract that states you will give it back or that you're giving any equity back in the company, but it is a good faith um, loan in essence. So over time, the program is expect that the Hemant Alumni Fund is expecting that money back and is hoping for a little bit more back. And that's just, that's just not for anyone here to profit from it. That is simply to help the fund grow. So, you know, if you, if you take two, three thousand dollars and you start a company, and if it does great, awesome. You know, hopefully at that point you really should give back. Um, you know, and you don't have to do it right away. Take your time. Do, do it over time. There's, like I said, there's absolutely no, we're not, you know, we're not lawyers coming after you. It's just, we're going to look you in the eyes and just say, will you give this back? Handshake. Okay, thanks. You know, um, but even if it doesn't work out, even if your company does not work out, it happens. You know, most companies, unfortunately, they don't work out. Um, so, <laughs> If it doesn't work out, I'm still hoping, and we're still expecting that over time, you know, yourself and any partners that are involved in that will give that money back. Again, over time. So if you're out there making good money working for a big company, we still hope that you know every month maybe we can get a little bit back, or every quarter you can give a little bit back until you've given that money back. That's how we're going to grow it into a much bigger fund. And our goal really here is to make this fund big enough that not only do we fund current student companies, but we start to fund alumni companies and we can grow out the network even more and help eventually grow the program itself so that it can become a self-funded program based on its successful alumni. I think that makes a massive statement about the program to the world is that, you know, here was a bunch of students who started out thanks to Brian Hinman, but they, they worked real hard and they all succeeded to the point where they self-support their own alumni now or their own program. So that's the long vision of it. Um, we're not taking equity. We're not taking guarantees, it's not a loan, you're not paying back 15%, 20%, it's, you know, it's, you know, whatever you guys can give back over time, please give it back, and then give some more back so that it can grow over time. <coughs> Anything else that I may have missed, or that you want me to cover? No, I think that's great. Right. Can we just give Anna a hand for